Hey everyone, welcome to another At The Bench update. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell for instant notifications of all our videos. So yeah, hi everyone, Paul here, Sam, welcome to the At The Bench update. So, we've got a few things to chat about. Um, I'll try and be quick so it doesn't turn into a waffle fest like it did last time. Um, but when you've got a lot to talk about, it can drag on a little bit. Right, first off, uh, 10th and 11th of November, not this weekend, the weekend after, is Telford Scale Model World. Uh, myself and Leah there with our UMP stand. Uh, we've got Graham and Tim from the live show helping us uh, behind the stand over the weekend. So if you're there, make sure you come over and say hello. We're in Hall 1. Uh, we've got everything we sell will be there, literally everything, including the brand new Novus Polish has just come in stock today, well, yesterday. Um, so make sure you pop over, say hello, and uh, come and spend some pennies with us. Uh, also, thanks to Tim, Tim's very kindly organised this for us. Um, on behalf of Models for Heroes, we're going to do a raffle. Um, and suddenly I donated you the Apex Airbrush, we're going to raffle it off at the stand, uh, and on 2 p.m. on the Sunday, we're going to draw the raffle and somebody wins a UMP Apex. Uh, each ticket's a pound. Every bit of the proceeds goes to Nords for Heroes uh, and it's fully sh sanctioned by them as well. So head over to Nords for Heroes page for info on that. It's also info on ISM. It's all over the place, to be honest. Uh, but one pound a ticket and it's drawn on the Sunday at 2 p.m. at the UMP stand. Hall 1, down the left-hand side, just past halfway, and you'll see our flags there. Uh, come over and say hello. But definitely come and support a good cause. And Malcolm has a stand in the foyer of uh, the hall as well. So make sure you go over there. Uh, donate any unwanted kits, etc. And uh, make your donations there as well. Um, we've got the live show tonight. Uh, busy one tonight. It's a full show tonight. There won't be one next Friday because most of us aren't here. Um, but we're going to make it up tonight. We've got three birthday openings to do, including myself. My birthday's on the 14th, so there's no live show next Friday. It's through the week, so everyone decided, including me, I'm going to open mine tonight. We've got Nigel's there, Nigel Kelsall, and Sam McCord, the amateur stuntman's there as well. We start calling the fall guy because uh, he's been leaping downstairs and hurting himself, as you do, and I hope you feel better, mate. I really do. Blonker. Um, the muscle car build ended on Wednesday evening. Uh, I think we had about 19 finishes, which is really good. Uh, most of them are on the Facebook page, and there's one or two on the forum. And Sam sadly couldn't get a picture of his uh, sorted because he's having problems with his phone. Um, but I know he finished because I've seen it, so I can't really show it, but I know he finished. Um, so what I'm going to do in a minute, we're going to go through the Facebook page and the forum and have a look uh, at the finished builds because they look absolutely spectacular. They really do. Um, truck build, that's on until the uh, end of the year, right up till New Year. And uh, yeah, that's coming along really well. Mine's there, I'm going to get back to after Telford, that's the plan anyway. And I see other people's trucks progressing. I think all those builds just need a little bit of a break halfway through. Um, I've got another uh, group build I'm going to start on Monday. And that is any car or bike, motorsport, it can't be civilian, uh, in an aftermarket scheme. So you can build any motorsport car. That you bought in, say, you know, a GT4 Celica rally car in the Castro scheme, but it has to be done in an aftermarket decal scheme. So it'll look totally different to the box art on the box. Um, the decal schemes aren't that expensive, uh, and they're often better decals than the kit supply ones. So what I want to see is lots of cars that look different uh, to what they originally would have. It's one of the favourite things I like to do. Uh, that starts on the Monday, this coming Monday. Um, and runs for six weeks. It's only six weeks to give people plenty of time to finish. Six weeks should be plenty of time to finish a car. They're not that complicated to do. And uh, hopefully we get lots of people involved in that. It looks like lots of people have already said so far they're going to join in, which is really good. Um, so I'm hoping we'll get plenty in there. So, like I say, any motorsport kit, be it uh, BMX Z30 BMW, in the Warsteiner scheme, uh, Tamiya's, you know, Castrol Accord, uh, sorry, Primera, uh, Escort Cosworths, uh, Peugeots, they all come in their standard box art, uh, but with an aftermarket scheme, so it looks totally different. That's the idea. Just a little idea I had, uh, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build uh, a Platts GT3 uh, M6 BMW. Uh, you'll see a review on this probably early on next week. Um, this was kindly uh, sent to me by Frey at modelemporium.shop, so thank you, Frey. Uh, also sent me the detailed upset parts. So I'm going to build it along with that and a double-edged sword. I've got the full carbon decal wrap sets. 
which looks immense uh, from Frankie at SK Decals as well. So I'm going to review the kit, build the kit, and use that decal scheme on it as well. So it's going to be a hell of a build. Um, so yes, so thank you, Frey. Thank you, Frankie. Absolutely superb. So we'll see what that kit's like. Uh, like I said, I'm going to build it on build it. I'm going to start it on Monday, and I'm going to review it on Monday as well. I've heard some conflicting things about it, a few fit issues here and there. Hopefully it won't be too bad, and hopefully those decals will go on, because I'll be honest, I'm terrified. I really am. Uh, but there's also a full, looks like, carbon interior decal set in that as well. So that's going to be quite immense as well. Uh, and after that, I'm going to do the Jägermeister E30 M3, the decal cast um, decals, and try out my new splash paints uh, from Ed at premiumhobbies.co.uk. He's got a good stock in them in. I put an order with the other day and he very kindly gave me a nice discount code, so cheers Ed, which I think is on there anyway for you guys, the girls out there, um, and um, he sent me a few other things to play with as well, so they're going to be interesting to see how they work out, so you're going to get a few reviews of those as well, and check out my Mr. Colour paint review from the other day as well, well impressed by those, and I'll be adding some more of those to collection uh, after Telford, and again, you can get those from Frey at Model Emporium. Frey's also very kindly donated another one of these. Uh, for tonight's prize on the live show as well. So the detail set in there too, along with some sweeties and a 10% discount code, and that's an £80 prize. It's a really good prize. Um, so all you've got to do to win that is watch tonight's live show, follow the instructions for a live round of number generator, and you can win that, and a UMP goodie bag as well. So there we are. Right, let's go over and have a look at the uh, Mercedes, and then we'll go jump straight in and pop over to the forum and have a look at all the finished muscle car builds on the forum and Facebook as well. Right, okay, so over at the bench, like I say, ignore the fan, that's my battery charger, I do apologise. Um, so we're out with the Mercedes GT3 AMG. Uh, I think you saw it last time. Uh, no, you didn't actually, you haven't seen it at all. I was talking about the last bench update. So it's been primed UMP uh, white primer. No, it hasn't. It's been primed in Tamiya pink primer, my bad. Wanted to try it out, so decanted some and sprayed it on. I then sprayed it in my own custom mix of Tamiya TS8 and TS36 fluorescent red and Italian red to get this rather striking red. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, it's hard to tell on the screen, um, but it's a very, very vibrant red. Um, now, I used a pink primer because that's supposed to make red more vibrant. Uh, it did work, it's very good, it covered well, but I think yellow works better. Uh, so I'm gonna stick to using my UMP uh, Gelb Yellow Primer, which sadly we no longer stock, uh, but I have a little stockpile of it. Um, so I think it makes the red pop a little bit more, the yellow, to be honest. Um, but then uh, drive a couple of days and then with these wonderful hobby design EVA decals which went on absolutely fantastic yesterday. No issues at all and it's a very, very striking scheme. It's going to look fantastic next to the purple one at Telford. Uh, so you want to see them come on over, they should both be on the stand. And uh, have a look for yourself, but lovely decal, lovely kit as well. Spoilers all done as well. So that's all done. I've got a little cocktail stick on the bottom to help me hold it while I spray it. So absolutely fantastic, all the rims have been painted in Tamiya TS14 gloss black, decaled up and the tyres done. I've not been glossed my wheels lately, I think I prefer the look of them being non-gloss. Uh, it gives a bit of contrast between the body and if I zoom out a little bit I'll show you everything else because every other single part is there painted. Uh, I've got a few things to mask off, the mirrors need masking off for the black. Uh, the cockpit needs masking off to be sprayed silver. We've got some detail painting to do to the brakes and the running gear and so on and so forth. And all the chassis done as well. Uh, and literally all I've got left to do is assemble that, 2K it, give it a polish. Uh, I've got to mask and paint the windows which are there. Um, and that is it, job done. Um, so this should be hopefully finished uh, with 2K it in the morning or tomorrow afternoon. I can touch it on... Monday evening, so this should be done for Tuesday, I reckon. Um, so I'll probably start the BMW on Tuesday as well, or Wednesday, um, and we'll try and get the review out of it. So that's where it's at, absolutely made up of it. It's a beautiful kit, second time I've built it now in about three weeks, and it's lovely, and I think that scheme is just beautiful. Really do like it, and I highly recommend those decals, they are brilliant. Laid down absolutely flawlessly, and very, very nice. So there we go, that's where I'm at with that. Right, let's go to the forum and the Facebook page and have a look at these muscle car builds. Okay, we're over on the Facebook page, ISM Facebook page. If you're not joined up, come and sign up, it's free. And a very well run page. And we have a look at all the muscle car finishes that are finished before Wednesday evening. Um, 
uh, we had quite a lot. I'm quite happy with how many we got. Really good and some fantastic work as well. First off, my Hemi Cuda was primed and white primer UMP. Uh, Arancio Atlas Pearl was a base color and clear coated in the Pro Range 2K all through my UMP Apex. Great kit, this one. Uh, went together with no real dramas. The engine's a bit of an iffy fit. That shaker hood doesn't really fit properly. But other than that, really, really good kit. Uh, really happy how that turned out. Excellent color as well. Don't say so myself. We've got Dan's uh, Revel 124 Shelby Cobra. Uh, primed in UMP Gloss Black Base. Uh, sorry, Gloss Black Primer. Base painting a Badger Minotaur Chrome Silver. And then Ghost Tint Plasma Fluid. Uh, it's clear coated Mr. Hobby GX100. And all spray for the UMP Apex Airbrush. And Dan did oh, it's a fantastic job. Beautiful colour. And you got an excellent shine off that GX100. Uh, which is a very good clear coat. You just got to be careful with it decals. But obviously if you've got none. You don't need to be worried. Uh, Daniel Kemp finished his 125th uh, Hemi Cuda as well. Uh, Prime UMP White Primer. Base colour is Zero Paints. Uh, Camaro Green and Gloss Black. Uh, finishing the Pro Range 2K. And he's put 18 inch Fujimi wheels added. Painted in Gloss Black and AK Chrome. An absolutely beautiful paint job is stunning. He's done a great job with that 2K as well. Um, it really is good stuff. And it's a great contrast between the black and the green. Well done, Daniel. Absolutely lovely build. Uh, we've got Ola. Ola Hansen finishes Revel Gran Torino. Um, so it's a Revel 125th Torino from Starsky and Hutch. Prani UMP Yellow. Uh, base painted in Zero Paints Ferrari uh, Red. Color Counters is a Zero Paints, uh, I think. That's the 2K. And all sprayed through the UMP Apex. Lovely job there. I built that kit. It's not a bad kit at all. And that's a great finish, Ola. Well done. Uh, we've got Mark Atkinson, who's done the 125th Revel uh, Dodge Charger. He primed it UMP Black. Uh, the body colour brushed with UMP Apex in Tamiya Metallic Grey. That's quite, quite nice for a Tamiya colour. Well done, Mark. Uh, top coat using Tamiya Gloss with a bit of Tamiya matte mixed in for a satin finish. Great stuff. Uh, he painted the engine in Tamiya Chrome with a coat of clear red. Uh, the wheels from the Hemi Cuda kit. Oh, yeah, so they are. Uh, not the best pick in the world. Looks alright to me, mate. Uh, maybe clean up your background a little bit. Uh, get a white piece of paper, but great job. Nice work, mate. Well done for finishing. Uh, sadly, Gregory's in a little bit late because of his health issues. Sorry to hear that, buddy. Uh, Scott finishes AMT 63 Corvette Stingray. Uh, primed in white Stalnerez and painted in Model Master Nassau Blue Metallic. Uh, clear coat is Tester's Gloss. Uh, interiors Tesla's gloss black or silver accent, seatbelts of black ribbon, and he's put an official 1963 Massachusetts license plate on it. Excellent work, Scott. Beautiful finish of a beautiful car. They really are a good looking car, those old Stingrays. Uh, Clinton finished two cars. Uh, the first one was a Revel 67 Chevelle SS, all painted and primed in Tamiya. Uh, the body's decanted TS86 Pure Red, and cleared in Tamiya's TS13. And the second car is Revel 125 60 mine Camaro Z28 RS. Uh, the Camaro is painted and primed in Tamiya again. But is the decanted TS54 like metallic and cleared in TS13. Well done, Clinton. Great work there, mate. A couple of cracking looking cars. I think I've got that kit myself. Uh, and he did two of them, which is even better. Superb. Uh, Scott Scurry, I think he managed two as well. He did the Revel 125 uh, 68 Ford Mustang GT Fastback uh, from the movie bullet oh, well done uh model master fathom green metallic primed in velo gray and cleared of alcohol 310 lacquer fingerprints dust and mud smudges included i want to time to finish tomorrow working the sema show straight through until midnight looks good there mate well done scott and he also finished the oh hang on i believe that's the same car is it am i going mad no it's a charger we got a rock pull you silly billy uh, the Revel 125th 68 Dodge Charger, again from the theme, uh, theme from the movie Bullet. Model Master Classic Black and Semi Gloss Black. Brand of Low Grey and Clear of Arcade 310 Lacquer. Great job again, Scott. Well done again for finishing two. Robert Benson, aka La Fonda, uh, finished the Revel's 125th 1970 Dodge Charger. Uh, Prime Union Pre uh, Grey Primer. Uh, base painted in the splash colour Destroyer Grey from Dodge. That's a lovely colour. Uh, U-Pole, Urethane, Universal Clear coated and interior painted with Tamiya acrylic paints. Awesome looking car, very cool uh, Robert. Uh, Steve Spencer Beanie finished the AMT 116 scale Ford Mustang. His first ever car build, I think it'll be his last, that's a shame Steve. 
Uh, it's fought, fought, fought me all the way through. Many errors, much of them my own doing. Anyway, I gave it a go. Indeed, you did, mate. And you did absolutely fantastic. Uh, that's a big beast. And uh, you certainly did well. Tommy Calander did his AMT 25th scale Dodge Charger, 71. Uh, Prime UMP White Primer, painting a decanted TS-12. Clear coating GX100 with Mr. Level and Thinner for Mr. Colour. Uh, and Vallejo Metal Colour for the Metal Tones. That's a great job, Tommy. Absolutely superb. There's some more pictures out over on the forum. <clears throat> Should you want to have a look? Uh, Matthew Moore finished his uh, 71 Plymouth Hemicuda. UMP Grey Primer. Tester's Plum Crazy Purple Metallic. Lovely colour. Uh, and Tamiya X22 Clear. He used his Badger Renegade Chrome Airbrush. That's a lovely job, Matthew. It really is an absolutely stunning colour. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Brett finished his... Oh, hang on. It's 1970 uh, MPC Dodge Coronet Super B. Prime UMP White Primer, Sublime Green from Scale Finishes. And he used the Molotov Chrome Pens for the chrome details around the window. Excellent colour, Brett, and well done for finishing. Uh, Luke, Luke Carswell did the 24 scale Mustang GT350. Prime UMP Black Primer. Uh, custom paint scheme, base colour uh, Vallejo Metal Colour Gun Metal. And the stripes in UMP Gloss Black Primer. He then 2 k it in Zero Paint uh, Diamond Finish 2K and all spray for the UMP Apex. Great job, Luke. Well done, mate. Lovely looking car. Uh, Michael did the AMT 1968 Plymouth Roadrunner. Me, me. Uh, Prime and Tamiya Grey Primer from the can. Uh, base coat of Tamiya Silver under Tester's Lime Ice One Coat Lacquer. Sorry about that wrong. And the clear coat is Tester's One Coat Lacquer. Great colour. Uh, and a good looking car as well done well done Matthew uh, Michael even uh, reading the next one there you see uh, Matthew Morvan uh, here's his entry the kit to 1967 AMT Chevy Impala uh, ultimate grey primer and zero paints pearl red and it was cleared in the zero paints diamond 2k awesome looking car isn't it absolutely beautiful lines on that and that's a great job Matthew very very nice loving those seats as well they look great that's a fantastic colour as well well done and that's it for the Facebook page. Uh, we've also got Sam's entry, which sadly I haven't got a picture of, but I know he finished. Uh, there's Tommy's car there. We're going to have a look at a few more pictures. And I think the only other finish we've got on here is from Aussie Modeler. Uh, and this is his Revel Dodge Challenger for the muscle car build. Prime and Tammy a white primer. Painted and Ford Oz Blood Orange. Awesome colour. Uh, Tammy gloss, semi-gloss and flat black. All airbrushed. Uh, cleared in high cam 2k clear, polished it with a Tamiya compounds and waxed it with Maguire's Carnuba wax. Excellent. A bit blurry pictures, unfortunately, but look at those lines. Absolutely beautiful looking car. That's a great colour as well. Really is a good colour. So well done as well. I don't think there's any more finishes on the forum. I'll have a quick scroll down. Sadly, they are intermixed in between all the other builds. Um, just want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Let's have a quick look. If I do miss you out, I really do apologise, but there's my Hemicuda. So I'm going to guess that's about it, really. Yep, so there we go. So well done to everyone that took part. Congratulations. I hope we see plenty of people taking part in the next one. Right, so there we go. As you can see, great progress on the Mercedes. Loving that. Can't wait to have them both for Telford. They're going to look epic together. So like I said, it's going to get 2 k over the weekend and hopefully finish it mid uh, beginning next week, that's the plan. Anyway, fingers crossed. Um, as you see, some unbelievable work on the Facebook page and the forum. Thanks everybody who joined in. Really do appreciate all the participation, and uh, it proved quite popular. Twenty finishes. That's not bad. Well, 19, 19, 20 uh, isn't bad at all. And there's quite a few people who didn't quite make it, so I'm sure we'll see them uh, crawl over the line uh, later on uh, as we go. So absolutely superb. Hoping this next build will prove popular. Um, we shall see. Sorry about the noise. That's my battery charge. I got a brand new RC boat today, which I'll show you in my next bench update. Uh, so my battery charge is charging the boats. Hoping I can go out and test it today. Um, and that's it, really. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, leave a comment. I reply to all the comments. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to us. And hit the little bell for instant notifications. Check out UPRetail.com. Check out the Live at the Bench page for the Friday Night Live shows. The Modeling Hangout group for the off Hangouts. My Paul-ISM Facebook page. Uh, of course, International Scale Model Facebook page and forum. And my Instagram account, Paul underscore ISM. Or hashtag International Scale Model and you'll find me. That's all.
And there we are. And of course, check out Models of Heroes as well. Go over to the Facebook page and the forum. Make a donation, buy a mug, buy a poster, whatever you can do to help a worthwhile charity. So there we go. Um, I will be back next week. We'll show the Mercedes finished. And uh, so hopefully the start of that BMW. We shall see. Let's keep an eye out for a review of that through the week. And uh, there we go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.